Ha mi szállt állt. Ha nem mi. Ha van rá, akkor szóval állni, hogy fent vagyunk sűrűzve. Mi a fent? A végét vagyunk sűrűzve. The home team for today's match is the Palm Beach of R. Your starting lineup is number 15, Mendez. Number 12, Nicholas Hernandez. Number seven, Clemente Callejas. Number four, Chris Nell, Francis. Number 61, Ornell Lawn. Number five, Melvin Alvarez. Number two, Carl G. Pierre. Number 11, Eduardo Ortidio with the double zero, Darren Charles. Number 21, Christian Velasquez. And number 20, Aldison Juarez. And the visiting team the Florida Icon, Alexi Funes, number six. <laughs> Fernando Martinez, number three. <laughs> Kenny Adams, number one. Oscar Benitez, number 13. Selvin Lobo, number 99. Brian Castro, number 100. Wicho Lewis, number nine. Anderson Lormon, number 22. Ivan Hernandez, number 21. Jose Grandos, number 14. Carl Salma, number eight. Let's prepare for the circle dance.
ladies and gentlemen, let's play Hennet Ball. And we are about to begin this match between the yellow and the blue, the Palm Beach FR, the home team, and entering the Grun Nets is the Grun Meter. That's Eduardo Portillo, and he is a marked man because the Florida ICANN will be trying to pepper the Grun Net. And on the other side of this 157 long foot long court, 70 feet wide, entering the Grun Net will be number six. That's Alexi Funez, and he is the Grun Meter. You see the protection they wear, and they need it because they are under constant attack, and that attack can come from anywhere around that circle. That's why it's called Hannet Ball 360. Our officials, Madan Laurent, Danny Ganaya, and Woodmeyer M. Etienne. And we will begin with the bump. And Hennet Ball 360, it begins, and the possession will go to the blue. That's Palm Beach. Remember, you have to bounce pass. You cannot pass in the air. You can add an interception, and an early shot is missed. And had that grunt meter dropped the ball, you would have actually had what's called a freep, which would have been one point to ICANN. Fast-paced game. You cannot enter that pink circle. You can go inside the green, but not the pink. Interception that time. And there we have a whistle and a violation. You can only take four steps. You have five seconds to get rid of the ball, and you violation cannot number 21. do anything but a bounce pass. Now, that was not a violation worthy of a fill-on shot. There is a save made by Portillo on an aggressive shot. It goes out of bounds. If you do beat the Grun Meter with a Grun, there are different points assigned. And we'll explain that as this match goes on. And there is a Grun. That is Chris Nel Francois with the opening Grun of this match. Very quickly, I can try and it's set out of bounds. That pass a little bit long for Granados. A little pressure put on there, almost a little bit of a forecheck. But again, the offensive player, or in this case, a, what is known as an advancer, cannot go inside that circle halt, which is the pink line. You can't go, you can't even land on that line. There's a bounce pass, and pretty well defended that time, it looked like by Evar, by Orain Law, number 61. A little body on the offensive player. This is not a high contact sport. It is low impact. It is not a sport with money collisions, if any. And there's an interception. Florida trying to come in with the score. That's a wide effort for a run to just completely miss the net. Palm Beach leads, 1-0, and well, that's going to be a whistle and a violation against Palm Beach. Nope, correction, that's going to be against Florida for a little bit of contact there against Francois, who's been very aggressive so far, number four. We have yet to see a fill-on shot, which is essentially a free throw. Great effort, but... Unable to save at that time was Clemente Quejas. Careful, that was almost a big turnover. 
again, yep, you see good defense. The bounce pass, not enough. An ambitious effort, but interception by Mendez. The beauty of this game is you cannot hold the ball all day. The referee is part of our court, our handed ball 360 court. There's a effort at a run that's knocked away by Funes. That is a difficult area to defend if you're the grunt keeper. And there's an interception, and Francois has it. And a violation there against Palm Beach. What I was saying was that area, because the attack can even come from behind you, not a lot of rest. That's a turnover, and the ball will belong to Palm Beach. We've seen so far one Grund in the Grund net. That was a one-pointer. A free is what will happen if the Grund meter drops the ball. Let's say a teammate passes back to him, and he drops it. It goes in the Grund net. That's a point. A fill-on is what you would know as a free throw. We have not had one of those yet. That's two points and comes from beyond the green line. The rim Grund is an effort in a Grund that clips the top of the circle. That's three. And that's the same thing for the rim fillon, which is five if you do it on the free throw. And if somebody is ejected, which is a rare event in handball 360, it is six points against the team that has been ejected. Right now, Palm Beach has the lead, one nothing, on a grund by Francois. And he has it now, and it's stolen. Little contact there, but not enough, in the official's opinion. Interception that time by Velasquez. He'll try a grund, and it is saved. Almost fell in there, but another save made by Funes. 70 feet wide, 157 feet and two inches for our handball 360 arena. 35 diameter arches, 35 foot diameter arches at the ends of the arena. The grund net is inside that circle halt, and also the circle halt, the pink line, is inside the fill-on, which is the green line. Clock will rarely stop in this round. There are four rounds. We'll be hearing from some of the players a little bit later on in our match. Chance here for the Grunt. Gives it up. Fires, and there's a Grunt. Shot and score. So, Melvin Alvarez and a beauty. An assist from Quiguejas and Alvarez. Not much you can do on that. Palm Beach in front, 2-0. Francois, fancy pass. Remember the attack can come from there. Whoa! That had to sting a little bit because that effort at a grunt was blocked by Lobo. That might have hit him in the face. Yeah, it did. That's going to sting. Francois, there's the bounce pass. That's a very lively ball in this beautifully conditioned court here at Nova Southeastern University and turned over. And it'll go to Palm Beach. They are coached by A. Daniel Iniesta and Alexander Iniesta Jr. is the coach for Florida ICANN. That is a bump or an attempt at a bump right there. The bounce pass is a bump. No passes in the air. That's going to be a little bit of a reach in on Adam. That's a bounce pass is a bump. Every pass has to be a bump. And if you violate that rule, you lose possession of the ball. You have four steps you can take, and you have five seconds to get rid of the ball. And you cannot go in that circle hall. That's the pink circle. So 2 nothing for Palm Beach coming up halfway through this round. And that pass it just had enough on it. But a violation there against Francois, and it will go right back to the yellow, the Florida Icon. You 
see the bumps going on there. And right now, a lot of pressure being put on by Paul Beach. But now an opportunity perhaps for a run here. A little too hot, goes out of bounds. At the moment, it's been a little difficult for Florida to get a really good buildup with their advancers. So a violation here gives the, uh, the ball in good position on the court. And it was dropped. You cannot pick it up when you drop it. And there you see that's you have to maintain control until you are able to bounce past it to a teammate. It was ruled out off of Palm Beach. There was a bold effort there by Lawn to try to get the interception. Chance here for a grund. Instead, it's passed behind the keeper. And a violation there looked like that he Lawn may have stepped inside the circle halt. So it'll go right back to the Florida ICANN against the Palm Beach Avar in this Hennet Ball 360 match. First round going on now, and there is a violation. Francois didn't think so. He's going to briefly argue with the official, but he's not going to win that one at all. And each team gets four timeouts, and Florida ICANN is taking their first one. As they look to get on the board, they trail Palm Beach Evar 2 nothing with four minutes remaining in our opening round. So an overview of uh, the sport, we mentioned rounds. There are four 13-minute rounds. The arena for Hennet Ball 360 is 157 and 2 inches by 70. And the ends of the arena are 35-foot diameter arches. And we have an absolutely perfect facility to play Hannibal Ball 360 in here at the Rick Case Arena. The official Hannibal Ball weighs 13 and a half ounces, 8 inches in diameter. Grun net is 4 feet tall and 12 feet in diameter. And 7 players per team. The man inside that Grun net is called the Grun Meter. And there are 6 additional players. They are known either as advancers or they can be participants or blockers. And blockers, of course, are players who primarily are on defense. So right now, Florida just unable to get any kind of a real buildup. Palm Beach has had a couple of good opportunities. Each keeper has come up with a save or two. Blocker is any defensive player. The grun meter is the guy under the gun, or under the grunt, I guess, in this case. The participer is sort of the, the build-up man who sets up the offensive play, and the advancer is any player advancing the Hannet ball toward an opposing team's run net. They're advancing up the court. And you notice when the whistle blows, the clock doesn't stop. There was a bump intercepted, and a little bit of a break and a grab. So that shot would not have counted. Just a little bit of a grab. at a point of of the violation. And they're going to rule that against Palm Beach. So a break there for ICANN, but they can't take advantage of it. And again, another possession violation. Oh, blocked. Boy, that tremendous job by Velasquez. That effort at a grunt had some heat on it. And it looks like that's going to be a foul. Well, he could have gone a couple of ways on that foul. Let's see what's going to go in favor of Icahn. Another shot. And there is the opening grunt for Icahn. Looked like the grunt meter was a little unprepared for that one. And Lewis was able to find the grunt net. Keeper was playing back a little bit. So on the board for the first time, that's a one-pointer. Francois just wide. Remember, if you can clip the top of the grunt net and beat the grunt meter, you will get extra points for that. That's worth three. Locked successfully. Beautiful bump ahead to Francois. If 
you possess the ball and drop it, you cannot pick it back up. So that's why you're if you're wondering why players put their arms out or hands up when they have possession and lose it, they can't come back. They cannot come again with the ball. Another shot block. I think that was once again Velasquez. You can shoot from back there, and the shot is blocked. Two blockers that time. Velasquez was one of them, and Mendez the other. So under 90 seconds remaining in our opening round. Palm Beach. A little reach-in foul there, and that's going to go against Lobo. So you've got under a minute, so we'll see the strategy here. Do they try to, under you only have five seconds to possess. Yep, careful there, the keeper, if he dropped that ball in there, that would have been one point for Avar, called a freep. Get a head pass, going to go out of play. So the clock's still running, 37 seconds and counting. So do you take your time moving up the court here if you're Palm Beach? Palm Beach is moving up the court. Yeah, it looks like that's the plan. Maybe go for one last attempt at a run. Good spin move there by Velasquez. Long shot rejected beautifully by Funez. So time running out. They've got to get moving if they're going to get off one more shot. There's that fourth step. That's all you can take. We have a trip. And uh, not much to it. Pierre very quick to help up the opponent. And that should be the end of our first round. So Palm Beach gets the first couple of single point runs. And before Florida, I can can finally get one and in. And at the, the end, end of the, the first, first round, round, the score has the Avar on top of I can two to one. They're doing a good job. So let's take a look at the highlights from that opening round. And very early, the Grund meter was tested, and a great save by Portillo. Here's the first Grund we have. This is Chrisnel Francois gets way up high. And the next run looked like it was going to be taken from the center. Instead, Alvarez winds up and fires another one-pointer. And that gave the Palm Beach Avar a 2 nothing lead. And finally, with the Grund meter seemingly a little bit back in the Grund net, you get the big one-pointer there. And then look at this save. A beautiful save by Punez to keep it at 2-1. to one. 